Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 1 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of season 8 you could put challenges as your party assist so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is a stage challenge and the first stage is, Ride the slipstream around Neo Tilted and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage for the first challenge is, Ride the slipstream around Mega Mall and is worth 3 battle stars or 300 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is, Visit all sky platforms and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, Deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds after using a shadow bomb and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, pick up a legendary item in different matches and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, Search chests at Lucky Landing or Loot Lake and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, scoped weapon eliminations and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is another stage challenge and the first stage is, deal damage to opponents from at least 2 stories above and is worth 3 battle stars or 300 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage for the last challenge is, deal damage to opponents from at least 4 stories above and is worth 3 battle stars or 300 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the final challenge is, deal damage to opponents from at least 6 stories above and is worth 4 battle stars or 400 XP if you are at tier 100. And if you complete all that, and every other previous weeks, you can unlock a secret battle star or secret banner. This week it's a secret battle star and the location of the battle star will be revealed in the details. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, ride the slipstream around Neo Tilted and if you ride the Neo Tilted slipstream and you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. Simply all you have to do is go to Neo Tilted and you'll notice that around Neo Tilted is some rings that have wind going through them this is the slipstream and all you have to do is go inside of it and this challenge should be complete. The second stage for the first challenge is, ride the slipstream around Mega Mall and if you ride the Mega Mall slipstream you can get 3 battle stars or 200 XP. This challenge is pretty much the exact same as stage 1 all you need to do is go to Mega Mall and go into the slipstream that goes around it and as soon as you have done that, this challenge should be complete. The second challenge is, visit all sky platforms and if you visit every sky platforms you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The first location you could go to is the sky platform just southeast of Pressure Plant. The second location is north of Paradise Palms. The third location is northwest of Fatal Fields. The fourth location is in between Shifty Shafts and Polar Peak. The fifth location is northwest of Pleasant Park. The sixth location is northwest of Lazy Lagoon. The final location you need in order to get this challenge complete is southwest of Dusty Divot. The third challenge is, Deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds after using a shadow bomb and if you deal 200 damage you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. Obviously you do have to come across these to get this challenge done just note that shadow bombs do not exist in Team Rumble so do not play that once you come across them, 
wait until you find an enemy as once you do, quickly use it to get close to your opponent and when it has worn off, quickly shoot. The fourth challenge is, pick up a legendary item in different matches and if you pick up a legendary item in 5 different matches you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. Play in Team Rumble as you are most likely to either find once while looting buildings or you have a good chance to get a supply drop which will always drop a legendary item just note that you have to pick up an item or weapon so if you come across a bush or mounted turret be sure to pick it up and you can drop it straight away if you want, you do not have to keep these items in your inventory. The fifth challenge is, search chests at Lucky Landing or Loot Lake and if you search 7 chests at those locations you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. Loot Lake does probably have more chests there so be sure to go there to get more chests however Lucky Landing may be a bit quieter so if you keep getting killed at Loot Lake, be sure to go to Lucky Landing as that still does have a decent amount of chests. The sixth challenge is, scoped weapon eliminations and if you get 3 eliminations with a scope you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 xp. For this challenge you can only use the following weapons uncommon and rare scoped assault rifle, epic and legendary suppressed sniper rifle, epic and legendary heavy sniper rifle, if you play team rumble, you can try to get a few kills with the scoped weapons and if you do get killed, you can always try again. The final challenge for week 1 is a stage challenge and the first stage is, deal damage to opponents from at least 2 stories above and if you deal 300 damage from at least 2 stories high you can get 3 battle stars or 300 xp. The second stage for this challenge is, Deal damage from at least 4 stories above and if you deal 200 damage from at least 4 stories high you can get another 3 battle stars or 300 XP. The final stage for this challenge is, deal damage from at least 6 stories above and if you deal 100 damage from at least 6 stories high you can get 4 battle stars or 400 XP. Once again, Team Rumble would be good for this as you are going to come across a player fighting another and you could easily build up and shoot at them you could get this done while playing the game normally as long as you can win a build fight. And if you complete all that, there is a secret battle star to unlock this week. The location of said battle star should be on this patch of dirt just above the racetrack. And that is all the challenges for week 1. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.